welcome back to the channel. In today's episode, we are going to do a couple of things. First of all, we are going to kind of just go over my dash reinstallation. So um, that's been kind of done, a few observations on that. Um, then the other thing that um, I've been kind of working on today is trying to figure out the rear uh, wiring, wiring harness of the car and mainly where it goes. So um, after spending a lot of time on, you, on uh, Google trying to look at um, different pictures of different engine compartments, um, I think I have it kind of going in the right direction, at least as, as it enters the uh, tunnel to go underneath the car. Um, so right now I've got they're pretty much just laying on the side of the car right now, trying to figure out exactly uh, the routing. Um, there is obviously um, a couple of areas where there are some cable uh, runs. So um, I do, I have actually ordered a couple of the rubber grommets that fit in those cable runs. So now it's really just a question of getting underneath the car and kind of figuring out where to place that. Um, the other thing I still have to worry about is um, basically gas. So um, I need to run the gas line. Um, the car came with some uh, tubing that kind of uh, ended abruptly. So I need to kind of relook at it, put it back in, try to figure out some bends um, and get it hooked up to the carburetor. Um, right now, um, there's just basically an uh, empty line over here where it kind of hooks up. So I uh, need to get that figured out and sorted. And then at some point in time, um, I'm going to have to figure out how to clean all these wires and also brake lines up inside the car um, when the previous owner uh, basically um, took all the clips out. So uh, we're going to have to figure that out, make sure everything is nice and secure, make sure it doesn't rub. So that's going to be kind of important. So, But uh, yeah, anyway, um, happy was the progress. So um, we'll go jump in the dash and check that out. Awesome. Okay, so what we see here is the back end of the dash. It's uh, amazingly enough, I was able to count for pretty much all the cables. So there's no cable that I do not know where it goes, what it's supposed to do, etc., etc. So right now, um, everything is connected except for there's a kind of a pretty large uh, bunch right here. So these cables are going to go down to kind of like the center console uh, where I eventually put a radio. There's also, I think there's uh, the hazard lights are there, the hazard switches there. So, but yeah, as you can see, man, talk about a mess of cables. Um, anyhow, so in retrospect, I was thinking maybe I should have cleaned up those instruments a little bit. Uh, but, you know, they're going to be going behind the dashboard, never to be seen again. So, um, and then who knows? I mean, I don't even know if these things actually work or not. So uh, there may be an opportunity <laughs> whether I wanted to or not to do that. So anyway, good news, all pretty much all the plugs are done. So now um, my thoughts are, um, as you can see, there's these holes right here. And there are the corresponding little bolts right here. So my thoughts are for the time being is I'm just going to just hang this and not really tighten anything. Um, I don't want to get too carried away because I'm not sure if everything is, is going to work right off the bat or not. Um, I do have the new choke cable attached, so we'll have to route that. I think there's a hole. Yeah, there's a hole right there. Um, you can see on the other side, there's a little spot of light. And then the other thing I've noticed is that we have this big giant, it's kind of hard to tell in here, so I apologize. But uh, behind the, um, here, hold on. So yeah, there's a big giant hole over here into the engine compartment. So obviously I need to order another one of those little rubber um, uh, covers for that. So anyhow, um, and then the other thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wait actually to hook up the um, actual heater um, cables until everything's hooked up. Right now, I'm obviously too long on them, and I just don't want to, you know, have to kind of cut and recut and cut and recut. It's going to be a pretty massive pain to, to cut it, especially the one coming from the heater box, which I don't think we show right now. Well, there's part of one of them, mainly because um, the one coming from the heater box, um, we can't d detach and cut, so I'm going to have to figure that one out. So I will update you on that later. So anyhow, so we'll, we'll go ahead and try to get this dash put back in here in a little bit. Okay, so good news, I got the um, dashboard in. It took a little bit of effort, uh, but it's actually in there right now. Um, so I do have some additional wiring to sort out back down here in this kind of the center console. Um, that's really gonna be more like the radio, the flat, the hazard light, etc., etc. I'm gonna still have to get that sorted out. Um, and then I also got the uh, few of these wires here that we need to sort out and kind of clean up a little bit. But quite frankly, I'm not going to really mess with it until I get some power to the car to kind of, kind of sit, find out that all the buttons and gauges and all the other fun stuff is working. 
Um, as a matter of fact, the um, dashboard is not physically screwed in. It's just being held in place right now by the, the little studs that are up there and gravity. So um, anyway, it's definitely good to have it back in the car again um, instead of a big giant mess. So um, cool. So really my next step here, just to finish things up a little bit, is gonna be to um, cut the these um, heater cables down to size. Um, the real trick is gonna be how to cut this one. This is the one that basically changes it from the windshield to the bottom. Um, and quite frankly, you have to dig it. I can't disconnect the other side. The other side's actually in the heater box and the heater box is just a massive, massive pain to get to. So. So that most likely is not going to be uh, doable, which is unfortunate. So I'm going to have to figure out exactly how I'm going to trim this. So anyway, um, I think that's it for now. So um, look forward to some additional videos showing, um, as I said, some of the upholstery, uh, finalizing some of the engine work, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and so we will uh, catch up later. Uh, if you like the video, please give me a big thumbs up. Um, and uh, feel free to subscribe so you can get notified when I publish new videos. Take care. Bye-bye. If you like this video, hit subscribe and give us a big like down below. Thanks for watching.